hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm back with another reading i have been highly requested to do a reading from miss nia wilson um first of all i just want to just give a backstory as to why it took me a while to make the video first and foremost this entire story devastated me and i normally try to steer clear of stories like this and do readings on stories like this because it's one thing if it's like every now and then, but I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but it's been relatively back to back to back. And being that I am empathic, it just hit me and it's just, oh my goodness. And there was an overwhelming response to make a video on it. And no offense to anyone, I am happy that you guys reached out to me and sent me um, the story and tagged me in it. But I was just so disturbed and so heartbroken by the entire story. It did take me a while to muster up the courage to make a video. Now, this is what I'm going to say. I need to just clarify a couple of things about videos like this because this slips into mediumship and I don't have an issue with that, but I do need to clear things up because I do get a lot of questions and they're kind of repetitive. And that's because, you know, people want answers and I will do my best to answer all of them that I've been, get that I've been getting constantly. So the first thing I always hear is what does it mean when people cross over? Crossing over means going to heaven, going to the next place, going to the next phase after transitioning after death. That's what it means. Now, I believe that we do cross over, okay? And I don't want to get too much into my beliefs because somebody might come into my comments and talk about reincarnation and all of those things. And that's all well and good, but I'm just going to keep it with what I know, what I've seen personally, spiritually, and I'm just going to stick to it like that. Your personal experience is your personal experience. Your truth is your truth. I can only express what I understand, what I've seen, and how I'm interpreting things spiritually and what I hear through divine intervention. So there is no right or wrong in regards to what you think happens after you die. But for me, I'm going to say you cross over. There's a time where the spirit lingers on and they stay amongst the family and then they cross over to heaven and they watch over you from heaven and they stay with you they become an ancestor and they love and support you no matter what that is what i know and understand i know there's reincarnation there's people that feel like once you're dead you're dead there's people that feel like well if he was a bad person he went to hell i don't get into all of that because that's just getting into what i think and what you think and what she thinks and what he thinks and that can just create a whole big debate and it just won't get to the point of the reading so i just wanted to clear that up Another thing that people ask me all the time, what does it mean when you say spirit? Spirit, God, Allah, you know, angel guides, it's all like, it's the higher power, the omega, spirit, God, the omega, the king, you know, whatever you want to claim or call that energy, um, that entity that lives with us, that created us, that created earth, that created the heavens, the hell, whatever the case may be, spirit is referring to God. I want to, of course, see if she is okay. So I'm only going to be answering five questions. I want to see if she's okay. I want to see how the family will move on and deal with this. I don't think they'll ever move on. I mean, it's, it's terrible. I want to look into the actions behind why that fucking creepo did what he did. I want to look into will he get the death penalty or will he just serve life in prison? And my last thing I want to see is a message that her spirit would like to say in regards to her well-being and how she's doing. So that is what I'm going to stick to, okay? And no more, no less. I will not do part twos for people that have passed. I will not do any of those things. I only did it for Lissandro because I felt like it needed more clarity. But once I do a video in regards to mediumship, I'm just going to keep it in that video and move forward from there. I just don't believe in bothering the dead too much and the only reason why i did a part two for xxx is because people were running around social media saying that he sold his soul to the devil so i just wanted to clear that up but in the future i will always only do one video in regards to a tragedy that i resonate with that i want to pull for okay so needed to clear that up so that's the card that flipped out. My first card is, uh, my first question is, is she okay? That card literally flipped out. My first question for spirit, is she okay? Are you okay? This is a loving energy. This is a peaceful energy. The people that are watching 
resonated with your story. Family members, friends could be watching this video as well. I want to know if you're okay. This is a loving space. This is a positive energy. Feel free to express yourself through my tarot card so I can interpret it the best way possible for the viewers. You are loved. I apologize for what happened to you. You did not deserve that. She's very shy, guys. Um, she has a very shy energy. She's not like XXX where um, he was very talkative. She's very, um, very kind of quiet. Okay? So I just wanted to say that. She has a very quiet energy. I wouldn't be shocked if she was a cancer, like a zodiac sign cancer. Or, an, or um, a zodiac sign that was very like soft, very gentle. Beautiful soul, beautiful energy. And the fucking nerve for that news station to post a picture of her holding a gun or some shit. So if, a, you know what, let me not get there. The fucking nerve, but let me, let me not go there. We're not going there, we're just focused on the love part. Cause I was about to rant. Lose my shit on this bullshit up there. Okay, let me shut up. Okay. Okay, so these are her cards. I ask, is she okay? That is the energy that I ask. Is she okay? 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 Hopefully you guys can see that. Is she okay? So in regards to how is she feeling? The cards are showing that she is moving forward. She's moving on. She is accepting everything for what it is. She does feel like her life was um, shortly abrupted and came to an end. She had dreams, big dreams. So obviously the hopeless and helpless card came through. You know, just feeling like it's spilled milk. It is what it is. However, there's a maturity level within this young woman that um, is beyond her years. The cards are expressing that she feels that she trusts the situation for what it is. She's not questioning why. In my last video for Lissandro, she was he was questioning why and he was being a little bit stubborn, but he has officially um, made sure to be with angel guides and heaven and God. He's in a beautiful space. But when it comes to this young woman, she's accepting of her reality and she is crossing over beautifully, okay? She's acknowledging that her family is going to have a very hard time. She's looking from above and she's seeing that they're going to be having some difficulties. There is some financial um, issues going on. She is hoping for social media to spread her story more, okay? She wants her voice, she wants her to be remembered and she wants to be made of an example that this is something that needs to stop. The crown chakra is literally like the crown of your head. This is the most spiritual card in this deck. So she has made it beautifully and the love card comes through so she is being grant she is being greeted by all of her ancestors and the people that watched over her since she was born all the people that love her she's around this loving energy right now as we speak so to answer the first question she is okay for anyone that knows her and loves her she is okay she is okay she is okay she is just acknowledging that there will be some hard times for the people that do support and love her due to this um tragedy my next question is going to be what was in the mind of the person that murdered her um i don't even want to speak his name it's just disgusting i don't want to breathe him any energy or give him any form of attention on my channel i'm just going to address him as the monster that he is we're not going to give a monster a name okay i want to see what caused him to be so nasty I want to see what was behind his actions.
These were the cards I pulled for five. These were the cards that I ended up pulling on his um, energy. So I got the family card, the contract card, the anxiety card in reverse, heart chakra and the sacral chakra. So he had a thrill for the hunt. That's the best way to put it. He loved it. He loved the thrill. He loved the adrenaline, the rush of it all. The journey card is in reverse. This is just talking about him being transferred in the prison. But he loved the thrill and the hunt of it all. There was a love. And he was even creative as to how he was going to reach these women. So he was actually um, creating a hit list. Like I think it was reported that he was about to attack another girl. He was going to make it a thing where he was going to become the next serial killer that targeted women of minority, black girls, all of that shit. So his energy is relatively disgusting. He saw her as the first target, queen of wands. Okay. Five of swords moving forward, but this is in reverse. So it ended up backfiring. The death card, obviously death on the mind. Normally this is like the transformation card, but in this spread, like, I mean, this is a murderer. This is someone that I'm reading that has very icky energy. The hierophant card in reverse. King of cups, he represents the king of cups in reverse. And he felt the need to quote unquote protect himself. Nine of wands. So guys, I mean, I wish I could break that down a little bit further, but it was the thrill of the hunt. Okay. Four of pentacles. I don't think he was making as much money or in a financial crisis. It was thrill of the hunt. So we're not going to make fucking excuses for him. We're not going to be like, oh, mental illness. Yeah. We're not going to do none of that shit. It was thrill of the hunt. He knew what he was doing. He enjoyed it. Moving along. That phone call. Like, did you hear that she called him? And it was just, I can't. There's just way too much hate going on. It's way too much hate spreading. And it's just not right. And it's happening to our youth. And... It's just not a good feeling when you don't feel safe. You don't feel safe in a place you were born in just because of how you look and who you are and the color of your skin. They're going to be receiving a lot of donations. I feel like a charity is going to be created in her honor. There, um, the mother is the mother's um there's a there's a motherly figure or the mother that's grieving this hard i mean of course they're grieving that's not a really a prediction but the thinking woman in reverse comes through so it's showing grieving the goddess of the moon heavy emotions this family is very spiritual this is a this is a spiritual family who this is a spirit i feel it they have some strong ancestors they have some strong ancestors um good news for the family financial constraints are going to come to an end my only thing is, why does it take for a tragedy to happen for doors to open for good people? You know, like, had this never happened, I think they would have just lived their life and paid their bills and moved forward. But I think they weren't, like, rich. So this funeral cost a lot of money for them. This put them in a financial hole. It's saying that everything will be paid off and then some. That's what Spirit is saying. It's like they're being rewarded. It's basically saying she's going to send a lot of financial prosperity. This is another, you see the seven chakra card came up in her spread again. So she is very spiritually aware. She was, she's, a very, she's a very spiritual young woman. She's coming through in the reading saying she's going to protect her family and make sure that they have what they need. The magician card, she's going to give them everything they've ever wanted spiritually. She's going to watch over them and spiritually give them everything they've ever wanted. Okay, heart chakra. There's so much love in this family. This is a beautiful family. They didn't deserve this. Okay, she's guiding you guys to be strong. The solar plexus card is in reverse. That is your willpower and your confidence and self-esteem. She's guiding you guys to be strong friends and family and to continue spreading the word and doing positivity and spreading positivity. Healer of the ages. This is my Jesus card. So she is definitely in the highs of the high. She's in the higher place. So that's a third confirmation that she's in a higher place. Okay. My next question, um, what was going on around her? 
what was going on around her at moments before she died, what she suspected of him. So I need um, this energy to communicate with me what you expected of somebody following you or luring you in. Heart chakra. Funny enough, she felt like she was being followed. She felt like she was being watched. I think she kept saying this to her sisters because I believe her sisters were with them. She kept feeling that she was being watched. See, she kept feeling like she was being watched inappropriately, but she paid no mind to it because most men stare at women inappropriately. However, she did not think that it would result to that. The sun card being in reverse. She keeps telling her family to be strong, that she's okay, be strong, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, okay? So, any last messages? Any last messages? Any last messages that you'd like to say to your family, to people that were reading onto the story, to people that love you? Any last questions you would like to say? Y'all notice her energy is very healing. She doesn't seem tormented. She's not angry she's accepting of her reality she's not an angry soul she was a very peaceful soul even her reading is relatively peaceful and you know the reason why x video did so well was because he's he was very expressive alive and he's expressive in the afterlife but not everybody is that expressive she comes across very quiet she didn't speak unless spoken to so this is why we're not getting like all this information because it's just more so like i'm okay I'm fine, I'm good, I'm happy. I want everybody else to move forward and move past this. I'm going to send blessings to my family. Don't worry about my family. Worry about spreading the word that I died because of the color of my skin. That's the whole vibe. It's just more so of no more tears. How about we just focus on the fact that this was a hate crime. She's past the fact that she's dead, believe it or not. She's not a lost soul. She's with her ancestors. She's with God. She's not a lost soul at all. She's always been spiritual. I think she used to see spirits or she used to see things that as a young child and people used to laugh at her and make fun of her. She has the last laugh because she's actually seeing the spirits that she used to see when she was a child. Funny. So, if again, if you're a family friend or a friend of hers, then you can, you know, reach out to me. Let me know if this helped you or anything. So what will be your final messages? We have the six, we have the third eye chakra card. We have the happy family card, the patience card, rest and rejuvenation, the action card in reverse, and the door to personal healing. So again, she's reiterating herself because she really wants everyone to know that she is in a decent space. And, um, She's talking about how when she passed, it was very fast. It wasn't like gruesome. It was very fast. It was very, it was a shock. She was terrified. She was scared. But as she was passing, it's like she felt herself slipping and she knew what was going on. She's saying that spiritually she ran to her house. She ran to her family's house to try to spiritually tell them what happened before her family called and told them what was going on. So even after um, they communicated with her parents, she spiritually communicated to them. So I feel like her family is already communicating with her through dreams and through spiritual intervention. They're already having these moments together. So they're fine in regards to knowing that she's okay but she keeps reiterating that she is okay happy family card coming through she's reiterating that she is fine she's telling her family to be patient and don't blame themselves for this it was not their fault rest and rejuvenation the father isn't sleeping she wants the father to sleep more door to personal healing she has accepted her reality she's in a peaceful setting there's a very zen vibe about this young woman and this energy that i'm feeling it's beyond her years so it was a pleasure reading this young woman it was a pleasure 
reading this energy and I'm so happy that I was able to do the video I again my condolences to your family and you know God bless you God bless her family and justice will be served they're gonna try to dig deep as to why they you know that bullshit they like to do like white privilege they're gonna try to figure out why and all of that shit they might we might hear more about it but I do feel like he is going to spend life in prison he might even get the death penalty but I, I feel like it's gonna be more so life in prison so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for supporting um thank you thank you thank you thank you I love you guys this video was um very peaceful I'm actually happy that it was peaceful because I couldn't handle crying all over again because I really did cry for this young woman she didn't deserve that and it was just disgusting and it's just we you know we're living in a very dangerous time so we have to be careful guys we have to um we have to be careful and I don't know what's gonna happen in that regard and um, it's just sad I'm gonna go bye